hello guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to look at how to remove the background of an image using paint 3d application and how we can edit the image and use it in any other application we want to work on when downloading images from the internet some sites do not allow access to download the image unless you register by creating an account on that site other sites will also require that you purchase the image before you are able to download them when you are confronted with such an issue what can you do you can resolve that issue by taking a screenshot of the image you want and there's a tool that can help you to do that and that is the snipping tool in windows 11 it is called the snipping tool in windows 10 it is called the snip and sketch now you can pin the snipping tool to your tags bar or you can also have it as an icon on your desktop if you don't have it you can just go to your search button and then you type snipping tool it will pop up you right click and then you select open file location you see the icon there you can copy you paste on your desktop or you can right click and select pin to tags bar from the menu that will pop up that's being said i have it pinned to my tags bar so let's open the window and see how it looks like this is the snipping tool window for the first time if you are using it by default the snip mode is in free form mode you would have to change that to rectangular mode let's minimize that launch the browser and try to take a screenshot of an image in this case it's going to be a light bulb let's try it with a light bulb you can try with any other image you want to have a screenshot of i want this particular image so what i have to do is to click on the snipping tool or you can also take a screenshot by just pressing the windows key plus the shift key and s simultaneously to take a screenshot so i will just click on new yes when the window becomes this way then you move your mouse cursor to the edge of the image and then you drag it over the area you want to capture i could have done this but i choose to do this then you release your mouse once you release your mouse it opens up the snipping tool window bigger for you to do any editing you want to do but for me i wouldn't do any editing here i would save this and rather do the editing in paint 3d application so i'm going to give it the name orange light ball let's save that let's close this window close this now let's open our paint application search for the image you took the screenshot of wherever you saved it yes and here come to magic select and you read this so drag in the corners or sides of the blue box drag in the corners or sides of the blue box to show us what you want us to focus on so you just drag the corners to the exact points you want on your image i don't want this to show after doing that you click on next 
as you can see it's just this portion that would be shown i want to include this part so what you have to do is this is already selected if you want to remove a portion maybe i want to take this off i'll just click on remove but i want to add this portion since it's already selected just come select that portion you want to show then you draw the line a line on it be careful if not to select portions you don't want okay just by clicking has way but if you see there's some small white portion here so i'm going to try to remove that it's gone so let me try adding it back good now that i've selected the portion i want i'll just click on done next for the next thing for you to do is to drag your image out click select drag over the empty background and then you press the delete key on your keyboard now click on select and then you select your image back then you drag it back into your depending on what you want the more I drag, the blurrier the image becomes. So adjust it to the appropriate focus you want. This is too weird. So I'll just maintain this. Now you can save. Save it as. So we have different formats over here. You choose whatever you want. But I'm going to save it as a PNG image. Now I don't when I'm when I want to use this image, I don't want the white background to show. I want the image to blend into the background I'll be putting the image at. So in that case, you select transparency. And then you save. So I'm going to give it the name transparent light bulb and then I will still save it again as one without a transparent background and let's see the difference it would make so this time around I'm on checking or I'm not going to check the transparency checkbox I'm just saving it as it is I'll give it the name on transparent on trans When we are done changing the background, closing this application. Now let's launch PowerPoint. I have this slide already prepared. So let's insert our image. This is the first one that I've downloaded. I just want you to see the difference. See, it comes with the background. I'm minimizing this. This is not what we are looking for going to try and insect again I'm inserting our transparent light bulb you can see the difference there's no background whatsoever this is what we are looking for I'm going to minimize this now let's insect the last image the untransparent background you can see the difference this is with the transparent one and this is the first image i have downloaded so that is just how you can take a screenshot of an image use paint 3d application to change the background into a transparent one 
and then finally use it in your work your dog's mail i hope you've learned something kindly share subscribe comment in the comment section see you in the next video